this is going to be the end of my day or the end of my hike so i'm all locked up here secure i'm going to get back in my truck and i'm going to drive down to shoe swamp where i'll leave the car i'm going to hike back here Beaver Lake, so on the opposite side of that body of water, is the Shoe Swamp. That's going to be the location where we'll start the through bike from Shoe Swamp to Hope Goddard Islam. What a beautiful spot! Not the easiest place to get to. There's no parking anywhere in this village, so I'm I'm parked over at Shoe Swamp. I'm good there till seven o'clock. This is where the fish come in from the salt water into the fresh so that they can spawn. When they developed this area, they weren't thinking about the animals. So they really had a, a horrible impact on their breeding cycles. But now that we know better, and we're fixing it. There's Hope. So from here to Hope Goddard, I hope you enjoyed the, the journey with me. We'll see a lot of beautiful things. Some developed areas, some not. Sometimes we'll be in the woods, sometimes we'll be on a road. Thanks for coming along. Here we're here again at the Shoe Swamp Preserve. We're starting our through hike to Hope Goddard Islam Preserve. Should be between four and five miles, depending on how I decide to get through the planting fields, and how much I want to see or not. Here we go. Okay, I just walked down the trail a bit. This is where the shoe swamp uh, drains down into Beaver Lake. I'm not seeing any fish swimming around today. I guess they're... Oh, there's one right there. Okay, the official time is We'll call it 1015. We are at the northernmost point of our hike today. Let's head down the trail. Hey everybody, this is a familiar spot for me. This is where I found that dead end trail right down there. I'm not gonna try that today. This is where I came from, that's over by the swamp where we started. And this is the direction we're heading. 
to get to the, uh, the tail end of the Blue Trail that'll bring us over towards Upper Francis Pond, which will be the next segment. We're about a quarter of the way through Shoe Swamp. It is a gorgeous day out here. I mean, really, really nice. We're heading down that trail right there. bit of a spill. Very muddy. Just trying to avoid some mud. Wound up laying down on it. You're not spending a day in the swamp unless you get a little dirty. i take a moment and get cleaned up here. <laughs> this looks like to be about the halfway point through Shoe Swamp. There's the Beaver Creek right there. Beaver Brook. Sorry. Beaver Brook. The Japanese Stroll Garden. We might touch on that later with the bicycle. It's not open today, but we'll, I'll show you where it is. Diglo Green Pack. I'm going to be doing some bicycle riding today. I want to try to avoid getting run over. Here's my bottle of water. Thirsty. My emergency blanket, my emergency poncho, my sit pad, which I'm not sitting on right now. It should be. Uh, light my fire and uh, emergency first aid. Big old thorn in my hand when I took that spill. Got a little bit dirty. I'm going to get myself organized, hydrated, and rested. <laughs> I think we're coming up to the, the lower Francis Pond. I see a road ahead, a telephone pole. Some stickers. That completes the the first segment of our hike, that's the Shoe Swamp. That's right behind me right now. I'm looking at the Lower Francis Pond. It's a nice hike, it's got a little muddy. Warming up real nicely. That's where we just came from. That's the Beaver Brookie here below us. And it all towards the sound. So we're headed that way, and we go down this road a bit, and there should be a gate to get into the preserve. Fingers crossed that it's not locked up. It's been just about an hour since we left the trailhead of Shoe Swamp. I'm a little ahead of schedule, so I'll be able to take a break. We will continue. Bushwhacking. That spot that looked like a campsite. Yep. It's a beautiful view. We're not ready for a break yet. Let's see if we can get to the main part of the lake. The uh, upper Francis Pond.
I'm just gonna have to get my feet wet. Well, we started to gain some elevation as we hike now. I think now that we're out of the swamp, I can see that we're already getting higher above the creek. With every step, there's a dam right there. It's evidence of the elevation change. Coming up to one of the prettiest spots on the hike. That's the Upper Francis Pond, right by the dam. Beautiful spot to hang out. I think it's exactly what we're gonna do. This is what I came up to. That's our trail out. This is the Upper Francis Pond. It's a really nice place. Imagine we could have gone across here, maybe found a way through that fence over there. But the way I did it worked out pretty well. So this is the second preserve on our list today. We're gonna to walk through. This is the Upper Francis Pond. This used to be the Smithers Estate. Very special water. Very shallow on this end. came from down that direction. Now if I bear to the right here, that'll take me up to the parking area and the, the house. Bit of a bushwhack. Last time I was here, I pulled a couple of ticks off. But I am sprayed from head to toe with a tick repellent today. I treated all my clothes. I'll still be doing a full tick check. I guarantee you that. There's a pretty nice shot of the island. There's an island in the middle of this pond. Good hammock, pretty cheap. Okay. Time to break out a bottle of water, hydrate up a little bit, rest up. We're almost to the halfway point of our hike. Let's see, the time is about a quarter to twelve. Great idea, Clive. Fantastic idea. I didn't bring a lunch with me, I do have a couple of snack bars some water, that should be plenty. I'll grab lunch on the way home. I'm doing this hike as a point to point. I am, uh, I'm gonna be picking up my bicycle at Hope Goddard and I'm gonna ride down Chicken Valley back to where my car is parked at Shoe Swamp. Now you can do this hike as a loop where you start at Shoe Swamp, go to Hope Goddard, loop back and go back and pick up your car at Shoe Swamp or you can park any one of these preserves along the way. However you like to do it. This is your best option for stopping if you're gonna put a cup of tea or have some lunch. This is the most secluded one. I would think of the bunch. And there's you know a nice place to sit here by the way. I set up my, my hammock. Fun suggestion from my friend from Australia, five. Okay, we're out of Upper Francis Palm Preserve. This is Chicken Valley Road. We'll be heading in that direction. Maybe a quarter mile or so, not a far walk. Now we walk. And one side of me can just hop this fence, hop this wall, and I'm in. But I think I'll show you the right way. There is a hiking trail that we can take. It's just down the road a piece. Plenty Fields Arboretum. Oh. Now we can 
go on that road, I guess. Stopping for one today, just passing by. Just passing by. Take the U path to the Oak Trail, which is green, and then we're going to take that all the way down to the Little Wash Trail, where we're going to make a right, and then we should intersect with the Lowland Trail, and that should be right by Oak Goddard. So this is the U Trail. We're going to walk up to the right, and it should run into the Oak Trail, which is green. We're going to hang right. Trail to the Oak Trail. Here we go. Kind of nice to be back in the woods. Okay. And that's the Oak Trail. Alright. I'll let the time lapse camera take the bulk of this trail. If anything interesting pops up, I will join in the conversation. Otherwise, I'll try to keep it quiet. Enjoy the walk down the trail. Well, the Oak Trail is certainly beautiful. We do have a bit of a fork in the road. I'm thinking that way. That's good. Starting to get to where I got lost last time I was back here. Got me a little worried. Only a little. I hear Chicken Valley Road. The truck just went by. There's Jaybreak. Starting to feel it. The legs are starting to throb a bit. Definitely gaining a lot of elevation. Pretty clearly mocked. So far, so good. Alright, this is where the big wash pass meets up with the Oak Trail. I'm gonna take a quick breather here, get my bearing, and we'll get started in a second. All right, just got off the map. We're doing well. We're on the Oak Trail at the Big Wash Pass. Big Wash Pass is right there. That's actually where I went wrong. I, so I think I went this way. And I wound up in the planting fields last time I was here. We didn't learn. I brought a map this time. So this is the way we continue on the Oak Trail to the Little Wash Pass, which is the next intersection. We're gonna be making a right on that. And that should take us in the direction of Hope. Goddard Island Preserve. I hear dogs. Yeah, I'm hearing dogs. Someone's probably got dogs over at Hope Goddard. That's a good sign. Because they're not allowed in playing fields. Alright. I'll bring you back when we get to the little wash. Yeah, 
We are at the East Trail, at the Oak Trail. We must have passed the Little Wash Trail. Can't be very far down the trail, so let's go find it. My battery's getting low. I'm gonna have to take a break when I find it. Reload. My phone's getting a little low too. So, so we're looking for the Little Wash Pass. How I walk right by it, I don't know. my head up my butt how I miss that there's the little wash that's the way towards the planting field that should be towards Hope Goddard Island Preserve we're gonna take a quick breather here recharge my batteries and we'll get going again thanks for coming along everybody this is turning into a really nice hike right now it's just after 1 o'clock uh, 10 11 12 we've been on the trail for about three hours now we We're up to 4.7 miles. We've been walking for two and a half hours, more or less. So we're gonna take a breather here. We're gonna reload my batteries. All right, rest it up, back on track, new batteries in the cameras. We're heading down the Little Wash Trail now. We're in the direction of the Hope Goddard Island Preserve. Shouldn't be too much longer. We're still on the, the Little Wash Pass heading in the general direction of the, the pine forest in the back of Hope Goddard Island Preserve. I am starting to see pine trees, which is a good thing. I believe we'll run, when we get to the end of this trail, it should be the Lowland Trail. And that'll take you out to the gates where we started at the planting. We don't want to go that way. The Little Wash Trail. I remember being here. This is the Lowland Trail. Now that direction will take you out to the planting fields. Uh, there, the rear gate that we went entered on. And now this, we've got to keep our eyes out for a trail heading to the right into Hope Goddard Island. And this is literally where we got lost last time we were back here. So we've got a map this time. I got my phone charged with a map in it. We should be okay. Feels like the terrain is flattened out, which tells me that we're getting on top of the, the plateau. Aha, uh -huh. I'm seeing a sign for the Hope Goddard. I don't see the trail to get into it, but sure enough, preserve boundary. All right, well, we've got a preserve boundary. I need a trail yet. I don't know if I want to just start bushwhacking in here, although it would probably get me there. Continue on the lowland trail. So I see something a little bit more pronounced because I came up on a trail trail. It was nothing like that. I don't know if I would call it a trail. Now I can hear a leaf blow. Right, now there's a, a golf course with the Mill River Club. I'm seeing it right now. I did walk by it on my last journey. Okay, I backtracked until I got back to the place where I saw the, the sign for the preserve, for Island Preserve. I guess that must be the trail I was looking for. I got backtracked and then I bushwhacked until I found this trail and I'm following this trail back towards the golf course. It's starting to feel familiar. Yeah, there's a sign for Goddard. That's just how interesting. Alright, so we're in Goddard. Alright, so it's a little dicey. I was expecting it to be. Alright. Well, let's see, we should, we're just on the verge of the pine forest. So if we can run into the loop trail. It's almost 1.30. We're coming up on three and a half hours. A nice hike. Probably pushing five miles. It's a decent amount of uphills on this uh, leg of the journey through the planting fields. Couldn't ask for a finer day. It is bloody beautiful. I haven't seen much wildlife though, I gotta admit. The usual birds, a couple of chipmunks, that kind of thing. I like to run into a deer. I know they're back here. 
the home stretch. We're on the loop. Number nine. This is a good hike. Can't wait to do it in the winter. Should be beautiful back here with a little snow. Well, this pretty much wraps up the hike. Remember we started today, early on, down by Fever Lake Dam. I showed you how the fish are able to transverse the dam and get into the fresh water. Then we met up at the north end of Shoe Swamp, where the fresh water goes underneath the train trestle into Beaver Lake. From there, we started hiking upriver towards the source of the Beaver Brook. We crossed over Shoe Swamp Road and Beaver Brook Road into the upper Francis Pond Preserve, where we took a short break and bushwhacked our way out the Chicken Valley Road. A little bit of street walking. It's beautiful. We went through the Plainfields Arboretum anything didn't stop to hang out just did a quick loop by Kohol and we headed to the the trails head towards Hope Goddard Island Preserve which is where we are this is the top of the hike my bicycle is gonna be parked right up in the parking lot hopefully we're gonna gear up the bike and I've got a great little downhill bicycle ride to my truck at Shoe Swamp. Kind of looking forward to this part all day. So we started at, oh, let's pull it 10.15. Now it is 1.35. Three hours and 20 minutes. It's not a bad hike. Let me stop the clock on my oil trails. See how we did. Two hours, 57 minutes, and 54 seconds. And that's how long it took us to do the hiking for it. Bikes here, that's a good thing. I'm gonna unlock it and load my gear up in it. And we're on our way.
riding alongside the Shu Japanese Stroll Garden. It's only open on the weekends, I'm sorry to say. And this is where it is. I tour this place with my wife. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, I showed the video on YouTube. It's closed today. Today's Monday. It's only open on Saturday, Sunday, limited hours. We're gonna go down Dogwood Road. We're gonna see if we can cut through Shoe Swamp Preserve, the Shoe Swamp Old Road. Old Shoe Swamp Road. We'll try that, see how it works out. So this is hope. Fresh clean water and a small corridor of wildlife available to all of us to share and enjoy, protect.